Hello guys, today I want to answer one question, one comment from Muhammad and this question appeared quite a lot of times over my career and on this YouTube channel as well is how to deal with multiple roles if the fields for those roles are really different. So for example, in this case, patient and doctors and probably there are some fields that are relevant only to the patients and some of them only to the doctors and if you add them all to the users table and you deal with roles separately then it means users table is quite big and in this video I wanted to show you that in general in most cases that large users table is no big deal. In my personal experience it's totally fine to add 10 different columns to the users table to avoid extra relationship if you want to query just the doctors or just the patients. Let me show you an example. I have asked my colleague Narius to recreate a similar project to what Muhammad was saying, so doctors, patients, and I imagine there should be some kind of system that shows all the doctors, so list off the doctors with pagination or not, then list off patients, and with pagination for example, and list of appointments with doctors and patients, so something like that in a very simplistic way. And we actually added the fields to the users table. So there are like 10 fields or so related to doctors, all of them nullable, and then 10 fields or so related to patients, also nullable. And in case of doctors, only those fields will be filled, those will be null, and vice versa. These will be filled only for the patients. So in the database, we have something like this. So users table with doctors filled in, and here we have null everywhere for the patients, and if we scroll down, the other way around is for the patients, right? And there are a thousand records in total in the database. And whenever you need to query the doctors, for example, for the doctors list, you query them by role ID. Role ID is another field in the users table, for example. And then if you show only the doctors fields, let me show you the debug bar results. So there are two queries for the doctors. One is just for get the doctors and then another one is for pagination. And the query is still really fast, so 58 milliseconds. Because probably you will not query all the doctors at once. You will probably be paginating or doing some kind of report or aggregation. So you will not really download all the fields for all the users at once probably. But if in some case you load a lot of data for doctors, this is the number that you need to take care of. So 6 megabytes of RAM. Default my local Laravel valet takes 5 megabytes of RAM. For your web server it may be different. From what I know Windows web servers take 17 megabytes of RAM by default just for loading the page. So that means that one megabyte of RAM is used for that result, for the doctor's memory. So if you do want to optimize that, you can take only the fields of the doctors. For example, in here, you can do select whatever you want. So you can list only the doctor's fields. And let me show you what changes in the performance. So if we do the select of the fields, which I just pasted from my notes, let's see how much performance do again. We refresh the page and now we have five megabytes. So this is a proof that if you don't load all the fields that you don't need, then you may save some memory. But you probably can ask, so should I do select every time on all the queries and controllers and all of that? No, there's such a thing called scope. So eloquent scopes are usually typically used for where queries, for where statements that are repeated, but you can also do select here. So in the user model, you can define scope doctor fields, select only those, and instead of select here, you do doctor fields like this, and the result should be probably the same. Yep, I didn't break anything, so 5 megabytes of RAM and it still works. So if you do want to optimize those, you can select specific fields with or without eloquent scope. And very similarly, you can do the same thing for the patients or for appointments or whatever you do. So you load only the fields that you need and then your query performs quite fast with not too much memory used. The other alternative, if you do want to go for separate database tables for like admins, doctors and patients, you will have tables with fewer amount of fields each, yes, but then every time on every query you would need to perform the join to them. And I'm personally not a big fan of this solution. Of course, it's not 100% recommendation. There are cases where you have too many fields, just literally like 50 fields, some of them text area or something like that. Maybe in that case it's worth separating. But in most cases that I've seen in my life, for like 5 to 10 fields, it's totally okay to load them all 
all into user stable and work with that. What do you think in your case, in your situations? Have you seen any trouble with the approach that I recommend? Did you try to compare the performance with users table or separate tables? Share your experience in the comments. And if you want more tips on performance of Eloquent, I have just recently released a new course called Better Eloquent Performance. You can find the link in the description below and see you guys in other videos.